Today is the final collection day for our hunger free summer campaign and so far it's been quite a success helping feed hundreds of local families. 2822 News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us now live at Wise Markets in West Hazleton and Andy I hear things are going very well there. Well, steady, steady for sure. The people of the greater Hazel area, which is my hometown, which is one of the reasons I'm hosting here today, have been coming out since early this morning. My photographer, Elba Sarah, will show you the front table here. Now, we're at the Wise Market. We're located just off Route 93 in West Hazelton. This is the hunger free summer food drive. As you say, Ken, is the sixth and final uh, event for the summer, basically trying to help kids out, those in need. Now, you'll see some shopping carts here. We have at least a dozen or so shopping carts filled up. Uh, many of these donations were people, one or two bags, maybe three. It wasn't like they were bringing out carts full, but they're prog steady, steadily progressing. Now, let me show you some video taken earlier this morning. When people were dropping by, they came by, they said, listen, we were watching. We know about your event. They just wanted to take part and be part of something, uh, they said, bigger than themselves to help out their community. Joining me live now is Bob Curry. He's the founding president of the Hazelton Integration Project, also a big player in the Hazelton One Community Center. Your organization deals with these children. You know, for many of us, it's an unseen need, but you see it firsthand almost every day. We do, and I just wanted to say thank you for having us because it's really critically important that we get this message out. And today, Weinberg Food Bank is the recipient of these donations. And I want to tell people firsthand just how important that is. Uh, it's one thing to theorize about hunger in, in a, a way that really doesn't have an impact. But as you mentioned, when you see children coming every day that simply don't have enough to eat at the end of the day and walk into homes where, unlike many of our refrigerators, those refrigerators are empty. And we didn't realize it. We, our focus has been education for so many years. But during the pandemic, we started to see it firsthand. And then we realized we've got to do something about this. We've got to be part of the solution. One quick question. We have these events. People are very generous. Does it still stun you that in 2023 we have, we have the situation with hungry kids out there? It absolutely is stunning. I think we all wish that we were a little further along and we are going to try and do everything we can and it is only through groups like the Weinberg uh, Food Bank from CEO groups like that that work so hard every day at trying to meet the needs of those people and lower the number of families that actually suffer from food insecurity Okay, Bob Curry, we'll talk to you a little bit more later on. Again, the Hazelton Integration Project and Community One Center in Hazelton. This is what it's all about, Candace. And you, as you know, you've been out here last uh, uh, on several events. The people are so generous, and it's heartwarming to know. You know, we, we see a lot of strange things in the news business. One thing that's not strange, we see good people with good intentions bringing food here. So we'll have more, more live reports tonight. We're here until 630. Come on out and donate some food. Uh, Candace, back to you. Uh, all right, Andy, thank you so much. And once again, tonight is the last week of our Hunger Free Summer Initiative held at WISE all throughout our uh, region. And if you want to participate, as Andy mentioned, he's going to be at the West Hazleton location until 630 tonight. Feel free to stop by and say hi and help us create a hunger free summer for the children of Northeastern and Central PA.